Split second, I thought you were doing the theme to Jaws. No, I was doing the... That's you. That's my pubes. Sorry. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Oh, let it drip from your innards. Thank you, everybody. Supports on Patreon. Follow us for your Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. I have a joy hangover. Oh, good, because we're doing more RRR stuff. Yes, we are. Because there is stuff. You uh, mean the Oscar winning RRR? Oscar winning RRR song. Uh, the composer and India is an Oscar winner. Double. Last night, actually. The Bang Bang. Uh, Elephant Whisper. And, uh, Asia had a big night, man. Yes. Dang. Um, but obviously, huge night for India. But the, <laughs> since, unfortunately, they're not huge stars here, we didn't get to see a lot of the reactions or the commentary from a lot of the people that we wanted to. Right. Uh, so we have a couple post-reactions of Junior NTR's Ram Charan's. Awesome. And the actual reaction when they won from Junior NTR and the SS Raja Muli, their the, seats, the t- their seats. Which, which they did not show. No. Which is str- <sighs> so strange to me. Crazy. <laughs> and they were all the way in the back. They were in the last row. <laughs> and then I saw a picture of Topeka. She was basically around a bunch of seat fillers. <laughs> they put to be. <laughs> I'm going to be started. But they were literally on, they were on the, the bottom floor. Right. But they were all the way at the back. Literally the back row. <sighs> <laughs> Where was Topeka? It's almost in a similar area, yeah. but she was just surrounded by a bunch of nobodies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it must be odd for her. Because she's yeah. used to being probably in the front row oh, wherever she goes. And go. having everybody talk to her. <laughs> and yeah. It also could be a nice break. Probably. To be at a big event and just kind of be a fly on the wall. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, we're going to have three uh, videos, little short little videos in this of awesome. uh, uh, first the reaction of them when everything won. So here we go. And if you haven't seen our reaction, we reacted to the Not Too Not Too performance. Uh, at the Oscars and the actual win, right? Uh, when it happened, when live. it happened, but it, it, not this because they didn't show this, on of course. Television, yeah. Which, all in all, I thought Jimmy Kimmel yeah, did, did a great a job. job, and all in all, I thought the Oscars were were great. And I, the, we really, the only one I had a little problem, and it was a small problem with, was the fact that I I I wanted Austin Austin to win. Yeah, but, he's all over Austin's nuts. But Brendan, Brendan, I'm happy for Brendan Fraser, so. I, for the longest time, called him the worst actor in Hollywood. <laughs> I thought you considered Tom Cruise to be the worst actor He is in one Hollywood. of them. But for the longest time, yeah. I, I said Well, Brendan see, the, the people you consider to be awful get nominated and win Oscars. So what does that say about you? I haven't seen The Whale yet. Yeah. So, jury's still out. Here we go. Top Gun won nothing. <laughs> no, it, no, it got it one do. Oscar. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. They were ahead. I mean, they're still far in the back. Because this one's uh, SS Roger Ready? <laughs> That'll never get old. It's That'll the, never get old. All the way in the back. And they put the director all the way in the back. That'll never get old. <laughs> Why didn't they put them together? Like the... Uh, it's a structure Mully and Ram Charan. Like NTR. Yeah, I don't know. And I th- I think they just Yeah, they it's, just and it's too bad they couldn't get up there with them. I know it was for time yeah. with them all the way at the back to get them down to the front. That would be tough. Yeah. Um that's yeah. That's, oh, that's so great. It's gotta be such a surreal feeling. It's something you work so hard on. Even Seriously. if it's just a one part of your you know that person and you also worked on that part. Yeah. You helped and you're so excited for the recognition uh, for around the world. Yeah. Um, and the buildup, because they were the favorites, man. They had won everything. They had, you know, history-making Golden Globe win. and But I, I knew th- two things. The ovation the dance number got, which we knew it would. We knew it would get a standing ovation. 
But then when they announced the nominees, you can it's typically a clue because most everybody, most of the voting members are at the awards. Not all. Yeah. You couldn't fit them all. There's about 9,000 voting members, but there's a huge preponderance of them. And so when you hear the loudest ovation, that's typically for the winner. Yeah. And without question, it got yeah. the biggest round and of Topeka applause. And Topeka couldn't even talk for her. No. But I do love, she corrected, and I didn't, I didn't hear it at the time. Bless his heart. And guys, just be forgiving. We would have made this mistake four years ago. When he was talking about RRR, he referred to it as a Bollywood film. Didn't he only say that we're going to Bollywood you off the stage or something like that? It, there's a, a, obviously that's the reference. He he made a Bollywood reference, but he didn't. Yeah, he didn't call it a Bollywood film. I, he I just said we'll Bollywood it. you off the stage. I saw the. I saw. I I heard it, but I thought he was just referring to Bollywood and dancing and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I people took it as he's calling R R a Bollywood. I mean, he might not know. Most yeah, Americans. I guarantee don't. he does Most not don't. know. It's very what I, I, it's actually more than a foreign concept for a lot of people that one country has so many different industries and different names, different languages. Exactly. So and it's it's a it's a understandable, a mistake. very understandable mistake, and it's not born out of any kind of prejudice toward India. It's simply not knowing ignorance. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and so now we got a, a Ramcharan post. Oscars talking about so this is like after before the after party. Uh, this, get, is a, this looks like it's at the variety after party before they get all yeah. PK'd. Yep. Uh, so let's. <laughs> Which Jamie Lee Curtis had a funny, funny thing about after parties. Oh, right. She said she's not a fan of them for for two reasons. I'll, I'll say in a sec. Here we go. Oh. So you're in an Oscar-winning movie. Yep. Absolutely, Mark. It has happened. It's what happened. did that feel like in the room? I don't know. I feel like it happened for India, Mark. And all your wishes, all your good wishes, and your warm reception for the song and the movie and for my director. It worked. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> we did. <laughs> so what's your message to India right now? Because you really rep the country. I love this. Oh. Thank you, India. Thank you, my audience. Telugu Adiga. I am very, very proud as a Telugu person, as a Telugu actor. I, I thank the Western audience and the Western media like you who embraced and gave us such a warm reception. It helped in the voting process. I hope, I hope <laughs> we see more of you here. You are the biggest supporters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're part thank of you. my Indian history. Because <laughs> if you guys have a lot of Indian followers on Twitter now, lots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was more. You see how genuine he. Of course, like he was super excited for um, Mahatacha, but for like just the representation that the Telugu industry, Indian cinema, is now getting. Yeah. Um, and the fact that it's now being. He's like he said, he's a very proud Indian, very proud Telugu actor Absolutely. from the Telugu film industry. Absolutely. Um, and I, I like that he's calling it that because it's probably a little more easy to understand for people than calling it Tollywood or Hollywood. Yeah. Because those whole, can be confusing. And I, they're also they making it like obviously Bollywood's a offshoot of Hollywood. Now Tollywood is an offshoot of Bollywood. No. It's Telugu film industry. I like that. I, I, I do too. There's a Hollywood because that's literally the name of the town. Yeah. Um, uh, so you you give that city. It's a city in Los Angeles, Hollywood. Why did Hollywood? It's just that where the producers live. It, <laughs> no, I, 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 it was actually originally Hollywood Land. Why not West Hollywood? Yeah, I, I, it's it's just. But well, there wasn't a West Hollywood. It's when yeah. it's when Hollywood expanded. Why not? Uh, so for when, the, when the studios started to build, and you can thank primarily, you could thank Chaplin. Chaplin's the first one to build a studio. In Hollywood, and it is in Hollywood. Most of Hollywood's in um, Burbank now, though. Yeah, they're, they're all over the place. I mean, Paramount Pictures is in Hollywood, the actual studios, but the Burbank studios are over the hill in the valley in Cheap, Burbank. Cheaper. Uh, Disney has some studios in Burbank, Burbank, and they also have, obviously, they've got... They, they call everything Hollywood. Uh, they call it all Hollywood. Fox Studios is way down near the L.A. airport, but um, I, I, I would love to see... There's a particular wonderfulness about it being Telugu because it does create the conversation piece in ways it wouldn't have for people to be able to help educate people who don't know yeah. that, yeah, by the way, yeah, it's an Indian film. It's an Indian film. It's an Indian film. But it's, it's, but it's not Bollywood. By the way, Bollywood is Hindi. Mm -hmm. There's there's seven huge industries and then yeah. there's some smaller industries yeah. that are language-based and they're their own massive industries. So. 
Telugu's an industry, Tamil's an industry, yeah. Hindi's. So I would love to see that. It's Indian cinema and it's Hindi cinema, Tamil cinema. Yeah, Telugu exactly. Cinema. Yeah. And now we got uh, NTR's reaction post uh, same. Who same, had a killer, yeah. killer outfit, I think one man. of the best dressed men yeah. at the entire Oscars. Loved that. Loved the tiger that he has on his, uh, I love it. I, that's he, Yeah, whoever he, designed that, great job. Uh, and I love that NTR, uh, uh, Ramcharan and... Um, Rajamuli? Uh, Rajamuli. Um all have this Indian flair to their the outfits that Absolutely. they chose. Like they, it was like a customized kurta almost, but like a, a formal. I don't know the, the yeah. Name. As did as did um, I think pretty much everybody um, who who was there representing India. Uh, the only one who didn't have that definitively would be Topeka, who was very Audrey Hepburn classic. Yes. She was looked beautiful. Here we go. Oh, you're in an Oscar-winning movie. Feels great. <laughs> How, when you heard I was roaring I was roaring it was a very emotional moment Mark you know as I said always it's not only about RRR it's about India as a country it's RRR is the representation of where India is going to head yeah what do you want people to know about cinema coming out of India and why we should see, be seeing more of it like our because of the quality so i think india is a very diverse country with a very 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 strong cultural background so that's what you see in rrr so there are many stories which need to be told to the world many countless I mean, intense yeah. strong emotional dramatic action filled and i think there are many stories which are going to come out from india now now that they have their confidence yep so now tell me about being in the theater tonight who did you see that you were like? You know, I was, you know, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to say anything in a bad way, but I really think that it was Brendan Fraser needed to win the Oscar because <laughs> I thought that it was a long time due for him and he won it. And that's what I told him last time when I met him at the, at the, at the MPTF. I said, rooting for you. That was really, really amazing. It was like a Cinderella story. It really is Cheer for him, up, yeah. You can't, that two, you can't not be happy. I love that two people from Encino, man. I know, I know. you can't. Not, it's like Ki Hui Kwan. You can't not be happy for the guy. Uh, that's great. That's awesome. Uh, and once again, fantastically dressed. Um, and like he, what he said there is, is so important. Oscars, yeah, they're... They don't actually mean that much in terms of... It doesn't mean that this film is definitively better than that film. In that respect, no. There's, it's not the the, the everybody, end all every, argument. Solver. Everybody can have their own opinions about films, but what it does, and especially for smaller, especially from uh, different countries, it opens the door, uh, just like it did for A. R. Rahman, for people to explore his work. Or yeah, for him to have more opportunities. Now people saw R. R. A lot of people thought it was the best film of the year. It should have been nominated for best picture, in my opinion. Um, it should have at least gotten yeah uh, the foreign, nod for yeah. foreign film. Um, we know why I didn't, but the fact that it hopefully now, he said, gives them the confidence to make these stories and send them to the Oscars because people are like, well, oh, what's coming out now from India? That surely missing. It's a wonderful thing on a, so many levels, especially just on a business side of things. So if you're talking to a Karan Johar who mm -hmm. knows and understands the business side of it so much, as does Rajamouli, obviously. But what it does for the entire Indian film industry, all languages, is it gives them the sense of even broader distribution now to a larger global audience, which is going to mean even more income, more jobs created, more projects greenlit, mm -hmm. more audiences being shown stories that can be life changing, whether it's something revelatory that makes you look at the human experience or just something fun like the not to not to number, which I had some stupid babies ask me about. OK, so what goes into is it just composition when the Oscars are looking at it for song? It's song is is um, all encompassing. It's it it involves the composition itself has to be good. It has to have great performance. It also oftentimes has to do with its importance to the film itself and the way it makes people remember the film or think of the film. Mm -hmm. It was the and only one then, that did that this year, I think. And then is it a global phenomenon? Is the whole world loving this song? And it was the only nothing one. touched it. No. 
Nothing touched and it. I, Rihanna's song and Gaga's songs. They were at the end of the films. Well, and they got the legs they got because it's Rihanna and yeah. Gaga. They're good songs. Yeah. I have no problem with them having nominations. They were good songs, but they did not have the level of of global adoration. Yeah. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If India <laughs> songs were included in the song and score every year at the Oscars, there would never be a West film outside of one maybe every few years when a musical comes out like La La Land be nominated again. Because last year, let's just think of last year, Brahmastra's songs, Vikram's songs, PS1's songs. You can't tell me any songs from the United States were better than mo any of those. Uh, and so that's one of the things I'm excited about. If the West starts to pay attention more... I mean, you would have... if. If it had been released after RRR, you might have because this isn't the last time India is going to get a no. song nomination. No, no, no. But even but they should get a lot more. <laughs> even a song like Upna Time Aiga yeah. could have had an, a oh. nod if it had been known here the way RRR was. Yeah, it's only just people don't know exactly. That's like I said. That's all, and now they're going to be looking for it. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll not just looking for it. Like the 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 friend I know, his son who is in film school right now, RRR made him want to go to India. Yeah. He's like he's seriously considering. Damn, after that, I think I want to make movies in India. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Awesome. So fantastic. Loved it. Uh, congrats to everyone again. Uh, to in India, obviously, if you're watching, that you're part of the team in any way. Of the congratulations. Are, congratulations. So I know all of India is celebrating, and so are we. Josh!